Blue some skull busters and we've had update 1.32 and we still have the escudo glitch and for those of you who don't know that means that you can use the Suzuki escudo and all 1186 of its horsepower on Tokyo 600 so what you're seeing here is the start of the race barely made it off the ramp out of the uh, tunnel and we're in first place already beautiful you will be wall riding in this but for the sake of making money uh, it's quite fun we will be making a video about 600 pp cars that don't wall ride but for me it's like the good old days this just messing around on a track with your suzuki escudo so what does that mean for lap times let's get into it now i have messed with the suspension and the gears and the diff on this so it's a bit better than the last tune it's got a lot less understeer but it still needs work i think but this is as good as it get it could get it for now see there the bottom right 145.6 is me optimal let's give it a go so you're just gonna absolutely hammer it at the first corner and you're just gonna ride the walls round turning as you go making sure you're doing as much as you can to reduce the friction Again, same here, ride the wall, and as you come round, just let off the gas, just so you avoid that pillar. Bring it down to third gear, to come round that corner there, and then as you come into the chicane, hit the brakes as you hit the wall, bring it down to second, and let it coast round, and then hit the throttle as soon as you've like, levelled out. Ride the wall again, there's not much to it really, you're just literally bouncing from wall to wall. On the old soft tyres, you'd have spun there, but on these intermediates, you're a lot better. Coming across quick there to ride this wall. Pedal to the metal, all the way down, and then you're going to brake around the 200 metre mark. Brake, 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 brake. Turning in, following the dust marks on the floor, wherever they are, and then accelerate out got to get on that power as soon as you can because it takes a while to pick up the turbo but as soon as you get into it that's when it pushes you the car forward like nothing uh, and then that'll take you down to the bottom for a 145 I think I did a 145.8 and there you go folks but there was a one problem with this race I got to the end I was like yes done it great and it didn't give me my clean race bonus so I had to go again I thought the worst was upon us and they'd uh, somehow fix the wall riding, but alas, they hadn't. In the next race, I managed it, got round again, 22.15ish, and got that sweet clean race bonus. So, it's doable, clean race bonus is still there, let me walk you through the tune. So, let's take it from the top. You're going to want comfort hard tyres on the front and intermediates on the rear. Dead important that. Ride height, 75 at the front, 110 at the back. This is where things start to change. So anti-roll, one at the front, nine at the back. 40 on your springs on the front for the compression, 25 at the back. On the expansion, you want it on 50 at the front and 35 at the back. Natural frequency, three and a half at the front, five at the back. Negative camber angle, I think I might have put that too high put it at a set, set at two at the front and one at the back and then toes out 0 0.05 on both in terms of the diff you want 10 40 15 on both front and rear in terms of torque acceleration and braking uh, torque you want 50 50 and then downforce at the front you want it at 200 not any higher because that'll pump out your pp it'll stop the glitch uh, 700 at rear 100 on your ECU, you've got to have one on your ballast to enable the glitch as well. Don't need anything on your power restrictor, and then set your gears to 550, and then you want to manually adjust them to equal these values here. So I've got 3.72, 1.20, 0.913, 0.727, 0.615, and 0.552. Best way to get to that. Easy, easily it's just to set the final gear to five and then you can pull it all back in high rpm turbo and brake balance set to four 
Right, important stuff. First of all, you want your traction control set to two. The more your wheels spin out the corner, the less time you're going to get. Simple as that. Next up, transmission. Set it to automatic, it'll make your life so much easier. Fuel. You want to use fuel map one until you get to lap five or six and then that last lap you want to use fuel map six to get you round that one last time and then pit and then save again fuel map one to the last lap and then fuel map six you can play with it in the race uh, on this particular run I was messing between fuel map one and three between the curves and the straights but it's up to you some people like an easy life don't they right I hope that video's helped. If it has, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment below if you want to see any new cars, and we will see you all next time. Adios.